What's up? What's up guys? My name is The Cherno. Welcome to a little video. So the year 2021 has just begun. It's a new year. Usually at the beginning of each year, I like to give you guys a bit of an update and more or less a little plan for the year. Last year, I th think I did that. I don't remember to be honest. As soon as the video is done, it's just just out of my mind. This year, this year is going to be quite a special year, I think, because for me, it's the year of creation, the year of creating actual content. Around two years ago, I started building a game engine called Hazel. And I mean, it's been a wild journey so far. There's two parts to Hazel. There's the game engine series, which is just a, essentially an episodic kind of tutorial series in which I teach how to actually make a game engine. But then there's also this thing called Hazel Dev, which to me is just Hazel. And that is essentially my version of this game engine. So on one hand, I'm teaching how to make a game engine that's based on my game engine, which is called Hazel. A lot of people have no idea what Hazel, Hazel Dev is, all that stuff, I get questions all the time. It's probably my fault for making it so difficult to understand, but hopefully that clears it up a little bit, just in case you're confused. Anyway, so whilst the kind of game engine series version of Hazel is still quite primitive, I mean, we can kind of draw 2D quads in like a 3D space and like move the camera around and we have like an anti component system. It's still very, very bare bones, of course, because it takes time to build up a game engine if you're showing and explaining everything in an episode to episode kind of basis. But on the other hand, Hazel Dev, which actually started from Hazel, so they started around the same time and I'm pretty sure I kind of took a copy of Hazel's code base, the, the game engine series version of Hazel's code base, and then branched that off into what is Hazel Dev now. That started around two years ago, but that's not attached to like a video tutorial series. So it's essentially just me developing my game engine as fast as I can whenever I have time. Now from that, I've also kind of turned that development into like the Hazel devlogs and there's there's people from the community like Peter and Electron Diffuser helping out and as a result it's matured quite quickly and it's getting to the point where we can actually start using it to make something. Over the past few months you've probably seen in various devlogs such as like Shadows and like there's a 3D physics one I'll have it linked up there so you can check it out but you've probably seen that the, the engine's kind of coming together really quickly we're just slapping in features left right we're getting stuff in super quick. And I get asked very often what my motivation for that is. Why am I building a game engine if Unity exists, Unreal exists, Godot exists, there's all these kind of existing engines, why am I building yet another engine? Now, first of all, like I don't wanna to get too much into that question, I made a video on that topic anyway. Just because something exists doesn't mean you shouldn't make it yourself. I mean, maybe if you're, you know, super oriented on finding like some kind of niche and monetizing that and being really successful, then maybe that's not the best thing to do, especially with the complexity of a game engine. But ultimately, you know, just don't let someone stop you from doing something just because it's already been done before. There are so many situations in which something unique comes out of something existing because a person has a completely different viewpoint upon that particular problem that they're trying to solve. But anyway, the whole point of Hazel for me is to use it as a platform for me to create art in the form of games. For me, a video game is an interactive story. That's how I see games. I'm not much of a gamer, I guess myself. I don't spend too much time playing games, but the games that I do like and the games that I appreciate are ones that have a rich story to them. Before I became a game developer or started working in the games industry, I was really into film. I loved making films. I wanted to become like a filmmaker, a film director, a producer, even a visual effects artist at one point. I was really into storytelling. And for me, this whole industry and what I'm building with Hazel is a platform upon which I can tell my stories. The only difference is the, the format, really. Instead of them being a film that you sit down and watch, they're going to be an interactive game. Now, making games is very difficult. For anyone who has made a game or worked in the industry, you know that you don't need me to tell you that it's, it's very difficult to make a game. But for me, a game doesn't necessarily have to have AAA graphics or be realistic looking or have like this huge, like infinite supply of things to do, which modern games tend to kind of aim for. For me, as an artist, a game is a way to convey a particular feeling, a particular mood, tell a particular story. That can be accomplished in whatever abstract way you want, because that's the beauty of art. I know that a lot of you out there want to make games and 
I haven't really spoken on that topic very much because I've been more focused on the technology behind games. A lot of independent games fail because their scopes are simply too high. People want to make like an MMO, RPG, FPS, whatever, and that's just completely unfeasible to do in a small team or as a solo developer. My plan isn't exactly that, of course. I would say I am aiming for quite an ambitious game here because I have a particular I have a particular feeling that I want to convey and in order to do that, I think that I need some level of detail and complexity. It's super exciting that the technology that I've been building is getting up to the point where it can actually be used for its intended purpose, which is ultimately to create content. And that's ultimately what I want to say with this video, is just the fact that this year, 2021, is the year where we transform Hazel from just being like a piece of technology that we use to create little sandboxed environments to test out various rendering techniques and like integrations. We take it from that into something that's able to actually produce art. And that's extremely exciting and I can't wait to just spend this year making things. Even though I'm a programmer, a software engineer, I don't just see myself as that. I see myself as more of an artist ultimately. And so it's really exciting for me to finally be able to actually create things because I've been, I've just been waiting for that moment, honestly. I've just been developing my technology kind of quietly, waiting to get to the point where I can actually start producing things with it. So that is the plan for this year. Now, obviously there's still a lot of work to be done in Hazel. I'm not saying Hazel's finished. I'm just saying that it's getting to the point where the content is going to start driving the development instead of just arbitrarily developing a game engine that needs to do X, Y, Z because that's what a game engine needs to do. That's what tools we need to create so that we can actually make something. We're kind of getting past that stage and more into, I need this feature for this scene. We need to implement that now. And that is a very exciting bridge to cross when making a game engine. Now, this game that I'm making, I want to take you guys along with me for this journey, but I also don't want to reveal too much just because we don't really know what's, we don't really know what direction it's taking exactly. It's just concepts, kind of concept art and concept ideas at this point. But what I do want to do is while we are kind of still in this pre-production stage, uh, there are a lot of experiments happening with Hazel. Like for example, we need to make sure that Hazel is set up to handle the art style and the art direction that we've chosen to go with. So we need to make sure that we can render grass and have it look like we want, for example. So all of those kind of things I really want to share with you and I'm going to try my best to kind of make devlogs. I've also... I've also got this huge backlog of like Hazel dev topics to cover, like the shadow stuff and the physics, there's more physics stuff to cover and C-sharp. So, I think the best way to do this is going to be just by taking input from you guys. If there's something particular that you want to see, please leave a comment below because that would be that would be nice. Maybe that'll help me kind of prioritize the videos that I make. If you guys have any questions about anything I've talked about, if there's anything you want to see me make a video on, please let me know. The general plan for videos this year is going to be, you know, every everything that used to exists is gonna stay. I mean, ultimately I'm gonna be still focused on the game engine series. I'm gonna aim for one episode every week for that and that will still be live streamed on Twitch TV slash the channel. Um, that's also where I happen to work on Hazel Dev during those live streams as well. So definitely give that a follow if you are interested. The Hazel Dev vlogs are of course going to continue and they might even get more frequent, I'm hoping. And then on the other side of things with like just random, I guess, vlogs or like C++ videos and like the code review series, that stuff is just gonna happen when when I have a spare moment. Ultimately, the thing that I'm prioritizing this year is making actual content, making making actual content with Hazel. And that's what every, that's what this year is going to be focused on. A lot of people have also been asking me if I'm going to attempt to make a game in an hour with Hazel like I did a little over a year ago. And the answer is yes. Um, there are a few like workflow improvements I have to make to Hazel Dev first, but I think I'm gonna take Hazel Dev and attempt to make that Flappy Bird style game again or something similar. I don't know, we'll see. But basically, like, you know, using Hazel, uh, using Hazel to make stuff is the priority this year. And whilst my wife and I are kind of embarking on this huge journey to actually build a game, 
there will be a lot of mini games, I think, along the way that, that you know, are either gonna show off a particular concept or just as examples that we develop for Hazel as well. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you wanna support Hazel and me and like everything that I'm doing here, then please go to patreon.com slash the channel and become a patron. That is by far the best way to support this. Supporting me on Patreon, depending on the tier, will give you access to Hazel Dev, so everything that I show in the Hazel Dev Logs, you can actually download all that source code, check it out for yourself, run it, try and make something in Hazel Dev yourself if you want to, as well as like an entire backlog of like live streams and various other kind of exclusive content. But thank you to everyone who has been with me on this journey so far. I think that the stuff that we're doing is super cool. I'm really excited for the future. And I mean, my, my main goal, I think with Hazel is to ship a game and I think we're finally, finally getting to the beginning of that journey. So thank you all for your support. Hope you enjoy the rest of this year as much as I hopefully will. And for those of you sitting at home thinking, oh cool, this Cherno guy's got such an exciting year planned, there's no reason why you can't do the same. So if anything, make this the year of making things, make it happen. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.